Hi there. You're watching Brain Shatter. That's juicy. Hi there. So I know many of you know about Nate's Ford Econoline, that van that Mad Mike and West Coast Customs installed a hot tub into the back of. Hey Nate, I got one more thing for you, dog. Check this out. Oh, yeah, oh, boy! Yeah. You got you a jacuzzi <laughs> in your van, man! Well, the hot tub wasn't too hot, but that should have been obvious. The power requirements to keep it heated would have really been off the charts, but my buddy Mike will go into that soon enough. But while they might not have had the heating going, perhaps they put a little something extra inside of it. It must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Good thing they put the sliding rag top above it. It should reduce some of the mess. Now, Nate's van was season two, episode nine. It aired on March 6, 2005. They had to add extra air shocks to the van to handle all the weight, and it really broke ground on the silliness of the show of what they could add to the cars. I haven't taken a bath since I was five years old. Sick! Come on, man, you gotta get in! Now, Nate used the van as his band's touring van, and so that was likely ruined for that aspect of it. Uh, but what it took away, it replaced with the attraction to the band that if they brought it to the shows, uh, they could show it off, and everyone was interested because it was a Pit My Ride car. Uh, the band's name was Cigarette, which is a fairly common name. Heather was on vocals, Nate was on guitar, Eric was on bass, and Spencer was on drums. Uh, they did release a six-track CD. The six tracks were Goodbye to Yesterday, Ace of Hearts, So Close, The Little Things That Kill, Throw Me Away, and Falling. The Little Things That Kill is the name of the album and uh, as well. Uh, and I found the CD on Amazon, and it isn't that bad. I would say to support the band and show all their links, but the band is defunct. They're no longer a thing. Uh, none of the websites are such to work uh, to contact. Um, <clears throat> I'd love to speak with Nate and or the other band members about their time on the show and the experience that they had with it afterwards. Uh, so you can reach out to me at brainshatterer at gmail.com. You got it? Oh, ah, yeah! Ah! That's Pimpin' right here. That's Pimpin'. Right. Waffle and spaghetti. Mario's no bigger than a mini meatball. Uh, now, you might have guessed from the title, this was the first, but it was not the last time they shoved a hot tub into a car. Now, whether or not these received the heat treatment is questionable for the same reason. Maybe they left the power, the power cord hooked up and you could wire it in afterwards. I don't know. Because again, the heating element would be a massive draw. Uh, Tim Westwood and his crew borrowed the idea from Exhibit West Coast and took Jono's 1979 Volkswagen Type 2 pickup and added a hot tub into the back of it. The entire setup ended up looking really phenomenal, uh, but I'm sure the old Volkswagen wouldn't have been able to get the juice to do the heating, but maybe they left the possibility to plug it in. Honestly, West Coast may have done that with Nate's van, I don't know. Uh, Jono's episode was a bit of an oddity as they held a live contest and had four others there for, and trying for the chance to win the pimped, uh, to get their vehicle pimped. Uh, the others that didn't get pimped were Claire with her Renault, Renault 5, uh, Jemima, uh, her Toyota Corolla, 
Alpha, Kips, Opel, Record, and Lance's Vauxhall Calibra. The episode aired in January 2006. Ну давай, Джона, не стесняйся. It must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Какая крутиз... Со мной никогда не происходило ничего подобного. Now you might think that that isn't too shocking. Much of what was shown in the US version was emulated in the UK's version. Uh, but there was a third hot tub vehicle. In Poland, Coke Zero sponsored a version of the show. They're aptly named Pimp My Ride, presented by Coke Zero. There were nine vehicles done up for this version of the show. I have eight of the episodes. Uh, I have copies of eight of the episodes. The ninth, I think, was just done for the shop for advertising purposes. It was a Fiat 125P pickup truck. The entire bed is the jacuzzi. Now, I have photos of the car, of uh, them promoting it and showing it at the shows, but there's no water in it. Uh, it looks like there is amplifiers uh, put in. It looks like the bottom is plexiglass. And it kind of looks like there's amplifiers that might just be parts of the truck, I'm not sure. Um, if this was indeed a car done up for an episode and you have a copy of it, uh, please get in contact with me at brainshutter at gmail.com. I'd love to see it. Uh, I think it would be hilarious also to see Costa hanging out in the tub if he did that. must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Bet you won't touch that button. Check it out.